I am pleased to introduce and welcome Interim President of the University of Missouri System, Mike Middleton. Well, we witnessed one day police dogs and the police and the batons trying to stop the marchers before they entered the white section of Rose Street. And they let the dogs loose and started clubbing folk. And I could not sit in comfort in my house watching all the action going on outside at my front door. He started the Legion of Black Collegiates to see if he could gather a group around him to say, let's look at these inequities that are going on. Let's make sure that we can make this place better for all students. I was really, really uh, outraged with the racial situation in this country at that time. That was Jim Crow. So, I mean, there was progress from slavery, but there was still a major systemic structural racism in the South that I could not put up with. I wanted to be a part of that perpetual struggle to eliminate that situation. He came to Mississippi and was very instrumental in suing the city of Jackson to get our police force integrated, our firemen integrated. I was in the Missouri legislature when Mike came back and began working as a law professor at the law school that I had attended. And it was notable because he was the first African-American law professor at the University of Missouri. Really wanted to have an influence on the next several generations, and he has. Because he said, Marvin, you remind me of me. When I was a student here, he believed in me. And you knew that from the very beginning. The president of the university and the chancellor of the Mizzou campus resigned on the same day and there's a tremendous leadership vacuum. This university, through the Board of Curators, reached out to Mike Middleton, who was retired at the time, and enjoying retirement, reached out to Mike and tapped him on the shoulder and said, Mike, we need you. Mike listened, and he took the bull by the horn and decided, okay, this is how we're gonna go through the steps to resolve some of these, these conflicts that were on that campus. We've got to understand the ugly, ugly history that permeates everything we do in our institutions in this country. And once we get the truth on the table, I think we're poised to reconcile those differences and move forward. 